Hey everybody, how y'all are? Welcome to our another installment of New Dust Monday. It's been a pretty wild week. Weather's been pretty nice. I've been out in the shop a little bit. And as you can see from the picture that's going to show up over here or somewhere, that uh, I am actually in between projects. I uh, completed a little quickie project uh, that I got on film or on video. Uh, and I completed the, uh, what the heck do I call that? The scroll saw stand. Now, I got the basic part of it done, and I'm going to show that as a video. And then I, I've got a couple enhancements that after I built it, it's like, hmm, I like to put that on there. So I'm going to do that next. And uh, I'm going to do that as a separate video. This video is, was intended to be a little bit different. I was going to do it all from the phone. And it was just going to be basically updates. I built it this way, you know, and this is what I did, pointed a little bit, and that's it. But I ended up running into a couple of times when I needed a tripod. So I had two hands free, and so I went to the other, the other camera that I use in the shop. And for some reason, it had fall fever. So, somewhere along the line, I missed a lot, lost a lot of video. So, I threw a recap in there with a uh, stand-in uh, tripod, my most beautiful and loving wife, Jan. And she did a really good job. And so, what we're going to do is I'm going to try to hash this all together and uh, make it somewhat understandable. Although, it'll probably be like, a whole bunch of ideas being popped around. Uh, just because of the nature of the beast. Um, all in all though, it came out good, I like it. it. It's got a very small amount of vibration that travels through it. Uh, I think that that I didn't, you didn't notice it, I didn't notice it when I had it on, on my workbench. But the thing about it is, is my workbench probably weighs three, four hundred pounds, maybe even more than, than what that little little cart does. Most of the people that made these have made them from our uh, two-before's. And I had gotten the strength of the two-before using laminated two-by-twos. I mean, this thing is rock solid. I think where I'm losing my, where I'm getting my vibration from is through the wheels. Where it's going down to the wheels and it's bouncing on the wheels instead of being, instead of sitting down on the, on the concrete. Uh, although it could be just because of it, it's, it's weight, because it is lighter. Uh, but it rolls around real good, and it moves around, and it locks, and it works fine. The vibration isn't that noticeable. It's just, I know it's there. But uh, I think it came out really nice. And uh, so keep an eyeball out for that. Uh, it was such a nice weekend that we were able to... Uh, Try out the new fire pit. Uh, there's a review up over here somewhere. And uh, it was really cool. Uh, I had, I have got a big garbage can that was full of scraps that we had picked up. And most of my scraps are little dinky things, you know. Because uh, I'm cheap. I use everything that I can. So when Jan saw that, she was, oh, well, we're going to have enough for the whole winter. For, you know, doing it like on the weekends and stuff like that that we do. I'm like, no, nah, I don't think so. Boy, was she surprised. We had one night of mad, passionate, crazy fire pitting, and it's about half gone. So I think, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it because it'll be unseasoned wood, but uh, I've got a lot of tree trimming to do. And I think I'm going to keep as many of the logs that I can, or, you know, the, the heavier limbs that I can, and maybe use that in, in there, too. So this way we get a little bit, you know, it'll be a little bit easier on the, on the scraps. Otherwise, man, I'm going to have to make a whole lot of scraps. Anyway, other than that, uh, not a whole lot going on. Like I said, the weather's real nice, and, you know... I don't know why, but I just want to say banana. <laughs>